This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail this Thursday, 30th March 2023. I am Adetola Kayode. Very soon, 20 domestic and international airports, six markets and 43 universities across the country will have free internet services. The Federal Executive Council, presided over by President Muhammadu Buhari, approved the cumulative sum of 24.2 billion naira for the project. The Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Issa Pantami, hinted that the free broadband will be for passengers coming into those airports, particularly to ease the communication challenge and make online transactions. The Executive Council also approached the construction of a Center of Excellence for Environment Restoration in River State, plus the construction of 100 bed specialist hospital in Ogoni as part of uplifting the welfare of those affected by environmental contamination. Meanwhile, the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing also got approval for a 30-month completion period for the reconstruction of the first and second phase of the road connecting Akure, Itaobolu and Adoikiti. The Department of State Services, DSS, says it has identified some key players in the plot for an interim government in Nigeria, affirming that the plot by some misguided political actors is real. DSS spokesperson Peter Afunaya in a statement vowed that the secret police will use all arsenals at its disposal to frustrate such plot. The DSS had warned politicians to desist from peddling hate speech and all forms of false narratives that can ignite violence or put citizens against the current and incoming government. The secret police also said an interim government is not only an aberration but a mischievous way to set aside the constitution and undermine civil rule. The service strongly wants those organizing to thwart democracy in the country to retract from their devious schemes and orchestrations. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Inter-Party Advisory Council, Yabagi Sani, said Nigerians can't do anything with information provided by the secret police, tasking the DSS to apprehend those it identified. In a couple of days, it will be time for Holy Week and Catholics around the world are praying for Pope Francis, who would be spending a few days in the hospital owing to some respiratory infection. According to the Vatican, the 86-year-old had breathing difficulties in recent days but does not have COVID. A Palm Sunday Mass is scheduled this weekend and Holy Week and Easter celebrations next week. He is also scheduled to visit Hungary at the end of April. On Wednesday morning, he presided over his weekly general audience in St. Peter's Square. He appeared good in spirit but was seen grimacing as he was helped into his vehicle. The Vatican initially said the Pope had gone to the hospital for a previously scheduled checkup, but Italian media have questioned this account after a television interview was cancelled at short notice. Reacting to the news, President Joe Biden asked people to make an extra prayer for the Pope's recovery. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember to be a brother's brother. Have a fantastic one.